sign. The term sign is a mathematical concept that is commonly used in trigonometry. In mathematics, sine is a function that relates the angle of a right triangle to the ratio of the length of the side opposite that angle to the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle. In simpler terms, the sine of an angle is the ratio of the length of the side opposite that angle to the length of the hypotenuse. It is denoted by the abbreviation sin and is usually calculated using a scientific calculator or mathematical tables. Here are a few examples to help you understand the concept of sine. Example 1. Consider a right triangle with an angle of 30 degrees. Let's say the side opposite the angle is 5 units long, and the hypotenuse is 10 units long. To find the sine of this angle, we divide the length of the side opposite, 5, by the length of the hypotenuse, 10. So, sin, 30 degrees, equals 5 tenths equals 0.5. Example 2. Now, let's take a right triangle with an angle of 60 degrees. Suppose the side opposite this angle is 7 units long, and the hypotenuse is 10 units long. To calculate the sine of this angle, we divide the length of the side opposite, 7, by the length of the hypotenuse, 10. Therefore, sin, 60 degrees, equals 7 tenths equals 0.7. Example 3. Let's consider a right triangle with an angle of 45 degrees. Assume the side opposite the angle is 1 unit long, and the hypotenuse is square root 2 approximately 1.414 units long. To find the sine of this angle, we divide the length of the side opposite, 1, by the length of the hypotenuse, square root 2. So, sin, 45 degrees, equals 1, square root 2 approximately equals 0 0.707. The concept of sine is extensively used in various fields such as physics, engineering, and computer graphics. It helps in calculating the relationship between angles and sides of triangles, which is crucial in solving complex mathematical problems and understanding the behavior of waves and oscillations.